in the revolutionary cause of the Vietnamese people. Nothing is more precious than independence and freedom. The great truth underlined by President Ho Chi Minh is still echoing in the consciousness of each Vietnamese. The Vietnamese people continue to reconstruct their country in spite of the enemy's embargo. The government and people of Vietnam will never forget the assistance from their fraternal and friendly countries all over the world, including that from the government and people of India. In September 1976, Vietnam officially became a member of the non-aligned movement. The meeting between Prime Minister Phạm Văn Đồng and Prime Minister Indira Gandhi once again confirmed the relations of solidarity and loyalty between the two nations, which were established by President Ho Chi Minh and Prime Minister Zhao Lan Nehru. The Vietnamese and Indian governments signed an agreement on bilateral trading on the 26th of February 1978 to open the Indo-Vietnam cooperation in the fields of economy and commerce in the post-war period in Vietnam. The Vietnamese government utilized the regular credit granted by the government of India for import of locomotives and upgradation of the railway system. The Vietnamese government imported equipment to modernize the Nam Dinh textile factory and establish a jute mill named after Indira Gandhi in Ho Chi Minh City. After Vietnam promulgated the law on foreign investment, India is the first country that signed a contract to explore and exploit petroleum in Vietnam. The multifaceted economic relationship between Vietnam and India started to develop in the 90s, especially the establishment of the Joint Working Group has boosted the fruitful cooperation between the two countries. Madame Gandhi also presented the Vietnamese people 500 Mura buffaloes and some other species of poultry and assigned some good scientists along with some equipment for research as gifts to assist Vietnam in founding the Mura Buffalo Research Institute located in Song Bae province. The Mekong Delta is one of the two deltas providing staple food for Vietnam. However, due to long exploitation, the production of rice in this region became low. To surmount this weakness and to bring into reality the desire of the late Prime Minister Phạm Văn Đồng to implement a rice revolution in the Mekong Delta in the late 70s with the cooperation and assistance from the Indian government and scientists, the Kulong Delta Rice Research Institute was established. India is nowadays on the path of development and has recorded great multifaceted achievements with its economy ranking the fifth largest in the world and the second largest among the developing economies. The fruitful results of the Green Revolution has considerably increased the food grain production. At present, India is the second largest rice producer and the fifth largest wheat producer in the world. The success in its white revolution has brought about the production of 70 million tons of milk every year, the largest in the world. Nowadays, the industrial city of Bangalore is called Silicon Valley of India. Various centers, institutes, universities in the field of information technology are located there. Especially the Indian Institute of Information Technology has become a location for training students from not only India but also other countries who are taking up courses in different branches of the Faculty of Information Technology. It can be said that it is a very rare phenomenon that the heads of state travel, visit and meet each other nearly every few years, like the leaders of Vietnam and India. After these two countries gained their independence, each of their high-ranking visits besides the contributing to enhancement and development of their traditional relationship also intensified their cooperative relations in the field of economy, culture, science and technology, education and training, etc. This remark underlines the steadfast relationship not only between the Indian and Vietnamese peoples today, but also expressing the same hope for the next generations.